Scrolling panels in Storyline are a nice feature when you need to display content that doesn't fit within the space that you want to put it. Basically, it allows your learner to scroll vertically to see the things that you've placed inside of that panel, like I'm doing here. Now, the one I'm showing you in this example just contains a picture of some documentation, but you can add just about anything to a scrolling panel that you want. It can hold images, text, screenshots, movies, shapes, uh, captions, markers, even characters, really just about any object that you want. And you can have as many scrolling panels on a slide or on a slide layer as you want. In this demo, I've got another one. If I click on this button down here in the lower left, it's going to show a slide layer where I've added um, a scrolling panel. So if we click on that, we see the layer come up. And this is another uh, way of displaying a scrolling panel where it kind of comes up and you can you know, sort of see through it. You can format that if you want to. And this is just kind of a nice alternative if you choose not to go with Storyline's built-in notes panel on your player, or if you just want to display maybe some supplemental text on the layer, it's a nice solution for that as well. So let's see how to insert a scrolling panel on your slide. I'm going to go ahead and switch to this slide where I've got this giant picture of my document, and we're going to draw a scrolling panel on this clipboard and then put the document inside of it. So on my insert tab, I'm going to choose scrolling panel and my cursor is going to change to this little crosshair shape. And now I can draw my rectangle on my slide where I want the scrolling panel to be. Now, initially, you're not going to see any scroll bars here because there's nothing to scroll to. There's nothing inside of the scrolling panel yet. So we need to add some content to it in order for the scroll bars to appear. So let's go ahead and drag this picture over there. And you'll notice um, as I'm dragging my picture over when my cursor crosses the left hand boundary of that scrolling panel, you'll notice um, the visual appearance will change a little bit of my document. See how it kind of gets swallowed up, you know, by the scrolling panel. And now I know it's in there and I can kind of position it where I want it and then release my mouse and it's in there. So we'll go ahead and preview this and it should behave just like the example we looked at a second ago. So there it is. And now we can scroll all the way to the bottom. Now you aren't limited to just putting one thing in your scrolling panel. You can put as much stuff in there as you want to. In fact, let's just scroll to the bottom here and we'll add a couple more things. I'm going to add a character. We'll add a illustrated character here. This guy looks fine. He looks kind of medical, which is good if you're working with an MSDS, right? So I'll go ahead and put him kind of at the bottom and you might have to do a little trial and error to get him, you know, positioned the way you want, but this looks pretty good. He's not covering up any text or anything. So there he is. And how about if we also add maybe a caption as well? So we'll put a caption saying this is the end of the document and I'll fix my capitalization there. Okay, that's good. And we'll put the caption right here and we'll have it pointing to him so that we know that he's talking. So now if we preview this and we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we should see the caption and the character. So there they are. So it's really cool that you can add lots of different stuff to your scrolling panels um, if you want to do that. The other neat thing is that you can format your scrolling panel just like you can with any other shape or image. Like if I select the scrolling panel, let me just select the boundary here like that, I can come up to the format tab and I can apply maybe a fill if I want to, you know, make the background different. Like let's just say we wanted it to be a, a color or we wanted to maybe give it a gradient or something like that. We could easily do that. We could add a texture or a custom color. We could also add a different color for the outline if we wanted to and even use some shape effects. The other neat thing, if I switch over to the example that we looked at earlier, this is the one where I had the scrolling panel on a layer of my slide and you can see on this one, you know, I did add a border. So up here on the format tab, you can see that the outline is applied. It's this kind of brown color. And I also, um, if we open up the uh, shape styles menu here, you can see my transparency is set at um, something other than zero. So that way, you know, the learner can kind of see through the scrolling panel to the content behind it. But the other neat thing is you can even apply animation. So up here on my animations tab, I've got this fly in from the bottom animation. And that's what allows the scrolling panel to look kind of like it's, you know, um, coming up from the bottom of the slide. So if I click on this, it kind of has this animated effect as it comes up. So lots of possibilities for the way that you work with your scrolling panels and the way that you format them. So that's a little bit about scrolling panels and how you can insert and customize them in Storyline.